What's going on guys, Plastic Beach X3 back here with another One Piece Local Duel video and this time it's going to be round two of the Triple Box Tournament First Locals of EBO1 format It's going to be Katakuri on the right, Black Yellow Luffy on the left Katakuri is going to start out with a pudding into a tin drop mom Black Yellow Luffy is just going to pass on two dawn um, Black Yellow Luffy obviously gets a lot more crazy with the Flampe uh, in this set. <clears throat> Taking a life and then drawing a card is just a pot of greed in this deck. Um, Katakuri is going to swing 8 of life and they're going to take it, play Pudding, get a pair of Sparrow, pass the turn. Black Yellow goes to 4 Dawn. And play the Hiori, take the top life, replace it, and then gonna play the uh, Luffy, give leader plus 2000 until the end of the opponent's turn, swing seven at life, no trigger, pass turn. Not choosing not to use the Luffy's ability to trash a life draw card there. Um, your opponent has already showed that they're willing to swing into your life, so not that big of a deal to use it. Gonna go eight into life. Gonna actually counter that. I probably would have took it, but that's fine. Um, Personally, I just like to hold the 2Ks until I'm at 9K to get the max value out, out of them. But I also play the deck probably a lot differently. I just take my life, you know, as soon as possible. Then they're going to play a pair of Sparrow. Back to the Luffy, they're going to play a Garp. And then play a Sabo. Draw two, trash two. Trashing an Ace. Oh, God. I can't tell what that is, but... Gonna swing five at life. So yeah, it's like in my book, whenever I'm playing the black yellow deck, it's like, you know, a checklist of like, am I, I need to play some sort of search card turn one. I need to play a Sabo on curve. I need to get to my geckos as soon as possible. So gonna swing five, seven, counter to both. Or sorry, it was 5-6. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> I thought that was Ace for a second, but it's Luffy. Uh, gonna go 8 into the 6k Luffy. It'll die. That's an easy let go. But I bet he wishes that he would have took his life last turn. Take, yep. Yeah. Okay, they're still gonna swing at life, which... I think is also questionable by the Katakuri player. I yeah, definitely wouldn't have saved it. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if he should have swung a life, and I don't know if he should have blocked there, but that happened. Um, I get the idea, you just don't want to go down in life. Maybe you don't have a gecko and stuff, so or maybe you just don't have the little ones. Gonna go five into the pair of Sparrow. Gonna let that die. Search. Find the seven drop mom. Gonna play Gecko here. Play Luffy and Luffy. Okay. 
gonna pass turn there um katakuri goes to nine dawn so they're probably just gonna seven drop here it's kind of another reason why i think you should be taking the life against katakuri so that their seven moms become essentially a dead card in hand as soon as you play them gonna swing seven at life move that to the bottom Take that. And then gonna seven mom. I think you just take it, yeah. Don't wanna risk them just not swing in with the um Paro Sparrow. Yeah, might as well go six at life, force a 2k or a 1k. Gonna get the 2k though, pass turn. Now Luffy's finally at zero life with 10 Dawn. They can play the gecko and use their ability, assuming that they have a gecko. Gonna get the free swing out of the Luffy. Put two Dawn on their leader. Gonna use the leader ability. I can't see what they discard. It looks like a little one. Put Luffy Ace. Interesting. They must not have the other Sabo. Or Sabo, uh, little Sabo. Um, and then gonna, you know, Gecko. Ace, make Luffy 7k. Luffy, make leader uh, 9k until the end of the opponent's turn and then activate the luffy's ability to gain 2000 until the end of the opponent's turn gonna swing seven into the pair of sparrow taking a 2k now see my philosophy with the whole swinging at character singing in this deck is that um you know they only have so much dawn to play with um so not a lot of value in swinging at monsters under 9k whenever your leader's 9k. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, gonna go 11 at life, so 11 into 9. Gonna be able to go to, so 11, 11, block, 11, and they're able to get out of it. Past turn. So definitely should be able to kill them this turn. Gonna go ahead and use Luffy's ability to get the free oh never mind, yeah, get the free 2k. Gonna go oh. Okay, I can't tell how many cards are in hand. Probably five. I had to guess. I would likely go like nine with Ace. That's two Dawn. Nine with Luffy. That's one Dawn. Nine nine Gecko. That's four nines. They're gonna have to get through. Like assuming, and then like along the way you can. That's like a, just a minimal. What I'm saying is that's just a minimal Dawn and uh, minimal Dawn investment for swinging nine four times to try and just see what's in life. Likely like. If there's going to be a trigger, it's going to be on the first couple nine swings, and then you can change your play accordingly without investing too much Donis to like not be able to pivot. And if you're wondering, like the pivot here is obviously like. 
let's just say hits like a fucking crazy like double beige or something i still think he can kill him through double beige but i mean nevertheless like let's just say something crazy happens and he's able to live then you just like discard with luffy's effect gain two life he has three swings one of those being a pudding um but he's gonna choose to go with the linlin interestingly enough the issue with this play just right off the rip is that uh, if he lets the Linling go, then uh, then you're in a spot where you're like kind of forced to swing into his life. And if he hits any body trigger, then you are only a five life leader with no blocker. And if you don't have a blocker to back up this play, which obviously I hope they have like a Sabo or something. Um, but they're going to two one. So they had seven cards in hand. I think you still go nine, 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 nine. Uh, gonna go another ten into the mom. And they're gonna let that die. So now I think the best play is to just like Luffy up. You know, get Luffy to life. Probably don't even swing. Oh, he has the ace, so I mean, fair enough. Make leader 7k. But no cards in hand. To two attackers. So, hit the Sanji as the last life. Um, yeah. Pass turn. No cards in hand. Just go a billion on leader. Putting leader is able to get there. Um, but like I was saying, maybe just, you know, be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, if I was playing the Black Hill Luffy, my strategy always is just like be super aggressive. That way you can just over flood them with like eight, nine K swings into life late game. And they just, from, you know, trying to outvalue early game, they can't like also swing nine at leader with every single card while also like developing a board. So, and I don't want that to come across as like mean or anything of like critiquing him, but it's just like tips that I would, that I've picked up on playing the deck because it is my, my second favorite deck this format behind Uta. So um, it's just what I've picked up on. But either way, GG's to those guys. Make sure to subscribe to Plastic B Checks 3 for more One Piece videos and peace out.